Custom Formats. When we select a cell, we can see its number format located here. Currently, we can see that the format is general, which means no specific format is applied to the cell that you have selected. Clicking on the drop down arrow here, you can see the other types of built in formats like number, currency, accounting, and dates. What if the format that you're looking for isn't in this list? Say, for example, we want this cell to say 100 units. If I type in 100 and then the word units, notice that it goes directly to the left hand side of the cell. This means that Excel no longer sees this as a number, but now sees it as text. So if we wanted to use this value of 100 units in a formula, it wouldn't be able to calculate an answer because it thinks that the contents is a piece of text. So we know if we take out the word units that it then sees the 100 as a number. I can format this cell to still be a numbered cell, but to have the word units in it as well. To do this, we're going to go up to the drop down arrow and come down to the bottom here called More Number Formats. This opens up the Format Cells dialog box. Here I can see all the categories as I saw before, but down at the bottom I see the word Custom. The first thing we're going to do is select the type of number that we'd like. So is it going to be a whole number or a number with digits or if it goes into thousands, do I want the comma appearing or do I want the comma and also the two decimal points? So I can go in here and choose the type of number format that I'm looking for. I'm going to go with the fourth one here and then I click into the type box. So here I can see the number format, so I'm going to put in a space bar and after the number I want the word units. I put it into inverted commas so that it knows that it's just a piece of text. So I type in the word units as I would like to see it. So if you want capital letters here, just put them in and then just remember to close the inverted commas at the other end as well. So now when I press the OK button, I can see that it changes the 100 into decimals and it puts the word units beside it. Notice here it's still right aligned, which means it still sees the contents of the cell as a number. We could have something in front of the number as well as having it after the number. When you go in to more number formats, you can click in front of the number type and in inverted commas here, you could insert the text that you want to see in front of the number as well. Another custom format that we do a lot with is dates. Here I have a cell that's currently holding a date and in the drop down arrow up here I have the options of short date or long date. If I want any other type of date format I need to go down into more number formats. Within the date category there is quite a few different types of date formats and clicking on these will give you a sample of your date up above. So if any of these suit what you're looking for you can simply click on them. If none of these suit what you want then you need to come down again into custom and this time we're going to go in and delete whatever is in the type box. Dates are made up of day, months and years. Days are represented with the letter D. As I start typing the D, you'll notice that it starts putting in the date. So one and two Ds will give me the digits that represent the day that today is, so it's the 23rd. If I put in three Ds, I get F or I for Friday, and if I put in four Ds, I'll get the full word Friday. Then I can put in a space and put in whatever else I want. So, for example, I might decide to go with two Ds to get the date. M is the letter that makes up the month, and if I put in one M or two Ms, I get the numbers that make up the month. Three Ms gives me OCT for October. Four Ms will give me the full word October. And then for years, I use the Ys. So two Ys will give me 15, four Ys will give me 2015. So from the Ds, the Ms and the Ys, you can create the date that you'd like to see. So let's say, for example, I go with three Ms 
a dash and then two Y's. So it's going to show me just the words October-15. So when I press OK, that's the date that I now see inside the cell. When I select the cell, the full date, the 23rd of the 10th, 2015, is still up here in the formula bar. And at any time, I can go into the drop-down menu to call up the full date in short or long version. Notice that for both these cells, when I click on this and this, that the word custom appears up here at the top. So it can't show you what type of format this particular cell is in because it's a custom format. So there are just some examples of the way that you can go in and custom format your cells.